Hey guys, it's Mary, back with another episode of the Monday Night Raw video review blog. Sorry. Um, I know I didn't have an episode last week. Things have been kind of stressful in the greater household. So, I had other stuff that I had to uh, attend to. But I'm back. Because last night was so awful that I couldn't not, couldn't, could not not go without uh, addressing it. So, Monday Night Raw, it was the go-home show to TLC, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. I completely forgot it was the go-home show. I didn't realize it was the go-home show until they announced the pay-per-view for Sunday. So that's one thing. Um, it opened kind of strong. I didn't get the Wyatt thing coming down to address the League of Nations who had their own Titantron, had their own new music. I was like, all right. Maybe the rumors are true that they're going to start, you know, changing some stuff around there. But it was cool. It was different with the Wyatt family. I still don't care about the Wyatt family, but that's besides the point. And then they decided to uh, jump the shark with it and make it a multiple tag team match thing. And, of course, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns got the pin on the WWE Champion Sheamus. I don't know how many times we have to say this, but we're not buying in. Even Daniel Bryan didn't go over this much. He's not John Cena, even though the whole tater tot thing at the end of the night, which I'll get to in a second. I don't even have words for this, Bob. I don't, because I don't know what they're doing. It was bad. Pretty much Dave and Doug today on the show uh, had diarrhea of the mouth, and they basically said everything that everybody's thinking. Uh, the arena was half empty before the end of the main, of the show, like before the main event, and the reports are coming out now that Vince is furious that there were empty seats on television and that people were leaving before, like halfway through the show, and he doesn't understand why. He doesn't understand why because you're going, you're gearing towards kids and kids aren't up at that point. They have school in the morning. And guess what? Your viewership, your hardcore, the people that are spending the money are the parents and the people that are between 18 to 34, as myself. We don't like what you're doing. We don't like it. We're not going to buy into Roman Reigns. We might buy into Roman Reigns if he pulled a Rocky, you know, when Rocky was getting die, Rocky, die chance, and then they turned him heel, and he turned out to be cool. But this force-feeding of him is just not going on. And I feel bad for Sheamus, because you know what? He's actually doing okay, but he's working with what he has. And um, I'm rooting for Sheamus on Sunday. I don't think, with Roman going over so much on Monday in two separate segments... I don't think there's any way that he is winning on Sunday, and I think Sheamus is going to pull it out, but you got to change, man. You're 72 years old, or seven, you're in your 70s. You're the same age as my father. My father has no idea what's hip and what's going on and what's going to attract and keep people. He is not a modern man. You are not a modern man. So just, you know, get over the fact that your ratings are dropping and that people are walking out halfway through. Um, Charlotte and Paige was okay, but again, you know, like, why weren't they doing this from the beginning? Paige was acting like face now, Charlotte's heel, Charlotte's better heel. That was pretty much the gist of the show. Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler was a great match, but the way it ended with Ambrose, I mean, if this was the Attitude Era, and I'm not trying to bring that up, like, he would have done more than throwing popcorn and soda in the face and it like hurts me because I know that Dean can be the heel or the anti-heel or the whatever the middleman the thing that Stone Cold was but they won't let him go basically this vlog is saying that there's a whole bunch of things wrong with the WWE right now and it's time to wake up and like I don't care how much money you have but like you're it's gonna sink it's gonna sink. This is like right before everything went to crap in the 90s. You don't have John, you don't have Hen everybody's out with injuries and like you don't care about building anybody unless it's the person that you pick that you think that should do this stuff. I mean besides the New Day stuff which is taking off and like they're gonna jump the shark with it. They always do because the only thing that's hot they kill and they murder and they and they and they profit out of it and they market it and they and it gets to a point where it's so much that nobody cares anymore and they're already getting to the point with that they're going to destroy the group so with that 
I don't have much more to say about uh, Monday Night Raw. It was not a good Raw. I was expecting more. I don't even know why I expect more. I actually wasn't even paying attention. It was on in the background. And, you know, I heard from the kitchen that Seamus got pinned by Roman Reigns. And it was just like... Okay. Whatever. Commentary is awful. Everything's awful. There's nothing really good to say about the product right now. And the camera is moving because my cat is rubbing her head on my computer. So, with that, I will watch Sunday. We'll see how it goes. I guarantee it's not going to be a good pay-per-view. And WWE needs to get their butt in gear. And they need to uh, start making some power moves. Because it's the fans are finally getting fed up and they're walking away. I don't even have the subscription right now. I didn't, like There was something wrong with my credit card and I didn't renew it. Because I don't even know... I'll go watch it somewhere else, or I'll go watch it online for free. I don't even care if that sounds horrible, because I don't want to get my money towards a product that I know is just going to be like an eye-rolling experience every Monday night. Tune in to Busted Open Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. on Sirius XM Rush uh, 93. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Busted Open Radio. Follow me on Twitter at Mare underscore Bear. Uh, follow us on Instagram, follow our YouTube page, we're all over social media, we're on Instagram, we got a Periscope, just seek us out, and, um, we're on Facebook too, so find us on Facebook at Busted Open, and until then, have a good week, guys, hopefully you'll enjoy the pay-per-view, and we'll have better things to say next week, but until then, peace.